Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about makeup brushes. So if you're a beginner, this is really great because if you're unsure what brushes you need in your kit, this is going to be a very helpful video. But if you're not a beginner, this is also a really great video because you might find out about brushes that you didn't know about or a way that I like to use a brush that you might not have thought about. So. Either way, we're all winning here, so this is really, really helpful, and I just want to share, you know, my favorites with you guys. Yeah, let's just jump into the video. I think the most important thing about a foundation brush is to get something that maybe has like a flat top like this. This is the Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush. I'm sure you've heard about it. A lot of people here on YouTube use this brush and love it. And the most important thing about this brush is that it's very densely packed. Like the bristles are very like packed in here if that even makes sense. Basically, when you're gonna pour the foundation on the brush or on your skin, it's not gonna go in the bristles. It's actually gonna stay right on top and that's gonna help the brush push the product into your face as opposed to smearing it. So if these were all very loose and like not as dense, you would just be smearing that product everywhere. So that's what's important about the flat, like very dense brush. This is what's gonna help you achieve that flawless like airbrushed finish. I'm also going to be showing you many options for brushes. So I'll tell you about one and then I'll show you different variations. So another one like this one is by Tarte and this is just a little bit bigger but as you can tell it's the same idea. It's very dense and it's going to push that product into your face. Another great brush is by Real Techniques and this is a more affordable one. It's called the Expert Face Brush. It's just because it's a lot smaller. It takes me longer to like get my foundation on my face. You guys get the idea, and there's another one by Sigma that just came out. I wouldn't really suggest this one for beginners, but if you've been experimenting with different brushes, this might be a cool one to try. This is the Sigma 3HD Kabuki brush, and I don't know if you guys can see, but basically it's like pointed right in the middle, so it's almost like this kind of triangle shape. It's like carved on the sides, and it gives you this really precise like edge. So it's very similar to the Flat Kabuki F80 in the sense where you can just push the product into your face. But the great thing about this kind of like, I don't know what to call this, like tapered top, you can get um, around the nose easily, under the eyes, like in the chin area. So as you're working, you can easily just twist the brush and get into those places, which I think is really, really great. Anyways, moving on. Before we do get into the rest of the video, I just wanted to mention the Beauty Blender. As you can tell, it's really dirty. That's because I just used it before this video. The Beauty Blender is basically a sponge and it's used wet. So basically you're supposed to wet it underwater and then squeeze out the excess. I know some people like to use it dry as well, but it's meant to be used wet. Like the whole point of it is to bring moisture back into the skin and to apply your foundation really evenly. So this is a really great product. And the reason I'm mentioning this first is because I use this for my foundation, for my concealer. I mean, some people use it with powder. I've never done that yet, but I just think it's such a great product. And yeah, it's a little more pricey, but I think it's really worth it because it lasts for a really long time. And if you guys want to see a whole review I did of it in comparison, I will link that video down below. It's a really, really popular video. A lot of people liked it. So it's definitely a great one to watch if you're contemplating on buying this product. Okay, so moving on to concealer brushes. I think this is something that took me a while until I found the right brush for me that did what I wanted it to do. Um, I think I want to start off with the brush that I first started using, and this is the Real Techniques Setting Brush. Once again, it's just like this foundation brush that I showed you, same brand, and really affordable. I believe it was like 6 to $7, something like that. And this has like a point to it. It's kind of tapered and it, ha it comes to a point, if you can tell right there. And what this helps you do is get underneath the eye area. So that point is like really, really important because you can get right in those areas. And if you use a light hand with it, like if you hold it towards the end, you can really lightly buff out your concealer and it doesn't like give it like streaks or smudge it or anything. It just blends it flawlessly into your face. Once I figured out that this brush did such a nice job for concealer, I was just like, I had one of those moments where I was like, oh my God, like this is it. Like this brush is amazing. So another really affordable one is e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. And this is just a round fluffy brush. It's very small and it just helps you kind of like airbrush that foundation, that concealer under your eye. If you use a really light hand and just kind of blend it out like that, it works wonders. These brushes are super cheap. I think this one is $3 and this one is like 6 or 7 
So now I wanted to show you a more traditional brush and this is just a flat brush, just a regular concealer brush. It's a synthetic brush so it's really easy to wash and it just kind of like deposits the product a lot better and you can just like apply it underneath your eye and then you can use any of those brushes to blend it out. You can use a beauty blender to blend it out, it blends it out very beautifully. I also wanted to mention this um, Sigma brush, this is a 3HD Precision and this is super cute because this is very similar to their uh, Kabuki one, which is a foundation. So it's almost the same brush in just a mini version. So basically you can get right underneath the eye, um, you know, I don't know, around the nose if you're using, going down this far with concealer. Um, and it helps buff that product out really nicely. You can uh, tap it in, you can brush it in, whatever you're comfortable with. This is a really fun kind of new design and I really like it. So next I want to talk about powder brushes and like setting brushes. So I feel like you can like, you know, just use one or two and you're good. You don't need a million. Obviously I have way too many brushes. That's just like a personal kind of issue. But basically an all over face uh, powder brush could be something like this. This is the e.l.f. complexion brush. It's just a flat, flat, fluffy brush. It's not too dense. It's really soft. And you can just take powder and kind of deposit that on your face, so that works really well. Another great brush for all over the face is this IT Brushes for Ulta, I believe, and IT Cosmetics Brushes for Ulta. And it's super big and super fluffy, and I'll use this when I'm in a hurry, and I'll just like push this into the powder and just kind of quickly deposit it all over my face, and I'm done. Obviously, this is just like way too much. Like I bought it just because I thought it was cute and fluffy and just like luxurious kind of. You don't need this. You can go and buy this $3 one by e.l.f. It does the same exact thing. Now when it comes to setting product under the eyes, I did mention this brush as a concealer brush. This is by the Real Techniques um, setting brush. So because it comes to a point and it's like tapered and flat, it, you can use the same thing to like set your concealer, you can blend out your concealer, whatever works for you. This is another great brush. This is by e.l.f. Blush Brush. It's, it's called a blush brush, but I've been using it for setting underneath my eyes for a long time because it's shaped just like this one, but it's just a little bit bigger. So it's actually even faster to get that other eye set and ready to go. They both do the same thing. You can use them for whatever you want. Some people use this for contouring. I mean, you can use it for blush like it's meant to be used, but really it's up to you. I mean, I use certain brushes that are meant for one thing and I use them for like three other things. Another great setting brush is a Sigma Tapered Highlighter. And yes, this is meant to like highlight your cheekbones or whatever you want to highlight, but I actually really love using this brush for um, setting underneath the eyes also for highlight and for contour because it comes to a point it's like very tapered and just the bristles start shorter and get longer in the center and because it's like that it's easy to kind of blend upwards and yeah this is also really great for setting underneath the eyes okay so let's talk about a contour brush so this is something that it's also like a personal thing, whatever you guys are comfortable with. Um, I used to use so many brushes. I'll tell you guys the one I like the most, but this is the MAC like 109. It's just a round flat top brush. It's not as smooth as I want it to be. It's, it's a little bit like, a little hard, but um, basically I'll just use that in here in my cheekbones and start blending upwards. But a really, really great brush for um, contouring and you can use it for highlighting, is a Sigma Large Angled Contour F40 brush. And it looks like this. It's, it goes in an angle and it's extremely soft. So the nice thing about this is that because it goes in an angle, you can really get there in the cheekbones like that. And then you can also use it, um, if you like twist the brush, you can use it to blend that product out. You can use the tip of that brush to highlight. So it really works as you know, a two-in-one, a three-in-one, you can use it also for blush. It works for so many great things. So this is one of those brushes that like, if I'm going on a trip or something, this is really, really handy because I can use it for more than one thing. So let's talk about blush. Um, you know, you can use the Sigma one like I just mentioned. It fits perfectly on the cheek and you can just deposit the product right there and blend it out. But one that I really like as well is this one by Real Techniques again, and this is a blush brush. So this is one of the few brushes that I actually use for what it's meant to be used. I start here with the most product, and as I go down, I kind of get the least product towards the beginning of my cheek, which kind of gives me that gradient and also doesn't apply most of the product right here. 
So it kind of like lets you start backwards and get to the front with the least amount of product, which I found works best for me. So this is a great blush brush. So I think that's all for face brushes. I quickly wanted to mention one extra brush that I did use today. I don't use it often, but this is the fan brush. This is by e.l.f. It's $3. And as you can see, it's really, really thin, really soft and fluffy. And what it's great for is highlight. I feel like it applies a highlight very nicely. I kind of sweep it along my cheekbones, sometimes on the bridge of my nose, you know, forehead. I don't know, Cupid's bow, wherever you want. This is a really great brush um, to use. I don't use it every day because I can apply highlight in many other ways with many other brushes but when I do have time and I do grab this brush I do realize how much I love it all right so let's move on to the eyes I do have a lot of brushes to mention but I really want to make sure I go over all of them so you guys really understand so I feel like there are two basic um, eyeshadow brushes one is the Sigma soft focus shader brush and it's just a really flat dense brush and it's just very soft there's another kind, and this is just a regular flat synthetic brush. The difference really is that this shader brush here, this really soft and fluffy one, is really great for just normal eyeshadows. And this flat synthetic brush is easier to pick up like glitters, um, cream products, you know, products that are harder to stick to like a regular brush, will most likely stick to a flat synthetic brush. And they're easier to wash as well. Alright, so moving on to blending brushes. I think if you're going to spend money or invest in brushes, this is definitely the type of brush you want to invest in. And I'm talking from experience because before I even had a blending brush back in the day, you know, you don't understand how much greatness this thing can do for you because it really does the work for you and it really helps you get that diffused edge um, just really beautiful nice like smoky eye whatever you want to create so there are a few different kinds here now keep in mind that I have uh, smaller eyes and I don't have as much space between my eye and my brow so this area right here is not as big as some people's eyes so depending on that you want to kind of keep in mind what type of brush you get and what size you get so let's start with my absolute favorite my most used brush by Sigma this is a tapered blending e40 brush and it's just like this really really fluffy and really soft it helps you get right in here so kind of like in the crease but it's also blending it upwards and below and it helps diffuse that um, color right there I can't really use that for more than just blending out that first color in there because it is really big and fluffy and I don't have a lot of space right here so I don't want that the next color to you know overpower that first color I put so what I'm gonna do next is just basically take a smaller blending brush and this is called small tapered blending e45 and this is just a lot more precise and it also comes to a point so what this helps you do is really get in that crease like right in the crease and it also helps you blend the product whatever like color you put on top of that first color you put is still gonna show and it's not gonna completely cover up this two more that are also really helpful are the tapered blending E35 and I just find that this is a little bit smaller than the E40 and it does the same thing so you might use this one to blend another color in in your crease or you can use uh, the blending E25 brush. This also comes in um, handy in my kit and it's more flat and dense and it also helps you really get in there in the outer crease and whatever you want to use it for but it's really great. I also wanted to mention eyeliner brushes. This one is also by Sigma winged liner E06. E06. This is a really really fine brush. I think finding a great like wing liner brush is really really hard this was probably the hardest thing for me ever because you know you really like it's just hard I don't even know how to explain it but this one is really great it's really precise and you can really get that um, fine line if you flip the brush and go outwards and then you can really come in and really get a really precise line with this another one I really like is this new one that came out with Tarte uh, that came out with Tarte's clay eyeliner I just forgot the word but this is also just really flat and um, comes to a point it's kind of the same idea but the Sigma one is a lot more defined so this is like a pencil brush and it comes to a point this is the Sigma E30 this is also great if you're going if you're doing like a cut crease or you want to blend underneath but because it comes to a point it's a little bit harder for me to blend underneath so I like to use something a little more with a round top like this. This is by e.l.f. It's a contour brush, but I like to use it right underneath here because it fits perfectly and helps you blend out that product. Another great brush is this MAC 212. 
and this is really really flat and really really thin this is a really really fine brush what this helps you do is get really close to that lower lash line like super up close and personal and it really helps you define that lash line so if you put a black there or brown there it almost makes your lower lashes look a lot fuller I actually didn't get this brush until like about I want to say like a year ago so I haven't always had this brush in my kit and once you do it's like one of those things that you cannot go back like this brush is really really great so I'm pretty sure that I covered everything but I do want to quickly mention this Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow brush in number 12 it is just really a angled brush flat tip and it has a spoolie on the other side and if you use powder to fill in your brows it's a really great brow, uh, brow brush to kind of fill in but I don't use it as often because I've been using a brow pencil lately and that's just kind of easier but sometimes I will use this and I will also sometimes use this for eyeliner because it's so dense and it comes to such a fine point so that's it for this video I hope you guys liked it I hope it was somewhat helpful I don't know you guys let me know down below because obviously I need to hear your thoughts and if you have any favorite brushes you recommend to me or want to tell me about let me know about those down below as well I'll link a few videos in my down bar like my beauty blender video and so on so if you guys want to check that out and I hope you guys have a lovely weekend or week whatever and I'll see you guys in my next video bye okay. some people consider this like a foundation brush like probably one that would leave you streaks but do you guys remember fun dip this one is in cherry yum diddly dip it's so good it's going to be hard to film and this at the same time.